Okay, so we're going to play with a program called Pandoc. Uh, Pandoc is like the Swiss army knife of documents. It, um, if anyone's ever used uh, FFmpeg or anything like that, it's similar to that where you know, a lot of formats can come in and a lot of formats can go out and they're usually some sort of comparable way to handle them. Um, so the default format uh, for Pandoc is Markdown. So it might help to be familiar with Markdown before you get into it. So let's start with some basics. All right. So I got my, my magic little command line editor. I made a temp folder called shit because we're always about our shit. So I'm going to touch a new file, which we're going to call this one sample.markdown. Now you can use any text editor you'd like to make a dead markdown document. But I, uh, I like NeoVim, especially into the terminal. I have it remapped to Vim, so sample, markdown. All right, so we are in our document. Now, again, it helps if you're familiar with, uh, with how markdown works. But markdown, um, to make an H1 or a title, you put the pound first, and then you have, this is our title. So. Now, any text we put in here by default with no special characters on it should just be perfect. You know, just plain uh, paragraph text. So, I, oops, I'm going to add some text to this. Now, this, this is fun. Um, you can add things like lists, of course. Lists are good. I like to keep it simple. And then, you know, uh, other things you can add to a document. But th this this basically makes you a plain text, plain text doc, documents are awesome. I'm gonna make this bold. I do the two stars for my bolds. That's how I roll. So, okay, we have a decent document, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, if we cap that out, it looks just like that. So, so now we have a markdown document. But what if we want a Microsoft Office document? Pandoc is really good at this. So, Pandoc, um, I remember the key here. It's TAC T for two, which means the format we're going to pipe it to, um, which we'll do docx um, output sample dot docx um, sample. Now I realize hindsight doing this, you don't need the the tac d the the tac t uh, for docx if your output has a docx extension, but if you're outputting like you want to output HTML or you want to have it just spread out on your screen um, from another format to Markdown, uh, the, the T will, will force that output, which I'll show you in a minute anyways. So we're going to run that command. And just like that, we now have a sample docx and, um, and a Markdown. As you can see, uh, this is LibreOffice loading our docx but it will look nigh identical in any word processor you use including Microsoft Office. Now we know we have a compliant docx file. Um, but let's say for example we want to let's remove our sample dot markdown. So let's say we just want to print out the contents of this docx. So pandoc to the rescue again to mark down and then we're going to type in sample boom look at that good old fashioned uh, markdown it's using a different style of syntax I use but this is still completely compliant markdown um, so we can get rid of the uh, tac, tac t if we just do output sample dot mark down cat sample markdown there it is again so 
fully back and forth, completely compliant. Um, I forgot which formats that all can do. Let's see. Uh, pan, doc, help. Okay, let's scroll up here. Let's look at this stuff. This is important here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So the input formats are a lot. There's a lot of very interesting formats. I'm using Markdown a lot. Um, ODT, Open Document Format. That's the LibreOffice, Open Office Format. Um, and I believe there's a plain text. Oh, look at that EPUB. I just now noticed that. That's kind of cool. HTML, that's another good one. Um, but it's output formats. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot more there. HTML, HTML5, um, Markdown Strict. I don't know the differences because I'm ignorant, but I'm sure there's reasons for all those. Um, again, EPUB. So that's nice thing. You can use Pandoc to take uh, docx files and make them readable EPUBs for ebook readers. Oh, I guess you could also do it with HTML if you did a HTML dump through curl. You could pipe that into Pandoc and then export as an EPUB. So potentially it's a good way to take articles from the internet that you want to read on your your book reader lay offline, you could totally do this with Pandoc. So it's a very versatile tool. But there's there's the basics to get you started. Um, and Pandoc is in almost every repository. It's in Ubuntu's default, um, Arch's default, and even in uh, Brew for uh, OS 10. Oh, I'm sorry, Mac OS now. Um, so it's available there. Unfortunately, I haven't found a good way to get uh, Pandoc working in. Um, my command line program for Linux. What was that one called? It's my new favorite. It's uh, Termux. Yes, there's no no Pandoc build just yet. Give it time. Give it time. So I hope this is a good introduction to Pandoc. And if you want to learn more about uh, Pandoc or even Markdown, I will put some links in the doobly-doo below for you guys to check it out. And have a good Thursday.